very important. Squid. What are you using? We got some clams out here. Fishing the Triangle Rex. And we've got a lot of fish on the boat already. No, I did not bring my own gear. This is right off the boat. Left out of Rudy Inlet. And we've got a bucket full of sea bass already. It's going to be good green pepper shrimp sauce, I'm telling you, when we get back. I think we're fishing about 125 feet of water. Out here with uh, Mike Wilburn. This is his rig, by the way. You can see what that looks like. See, that's that's kind of a mess. But anyway, um, <laughs> these fish are hitting pretty much. Go ahead and bring your lines in, please. We're checking bring another in. place out here. We're going to check another place. We're just hitting and moving. We're at these, all these Call wrecks area. out here in the triangle area. Most the bass here. I'm seeing and, a lot of uh, sharks started, here right now. Sorry to catch a little shark, so. Bring your lines in. We're going to move. Is he? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go, Mike. We're sawing. Y'all trying some cut bait? Yeah. Oh, goodness, you're right. I didn't know you were. <laughs> I didn't know you were taping me. Y'all got one yet? Yeah, yeah, you got, got another one? This is Bob. Uh, yeah. There you go. Oh, look at that hog out here. Oh, yeah. Nice sea bass, yeah. man. Good sea bass. Little Boston Mac attack. <laughs> Boston Mac attack? Yeah. Woo! Good. Awesome, Kevin. That's awesome. nice. Do you? Yeah. Sea bass is on? Maybe two. Oh, as soon as it touches the bottom there, I'm like, all right. We get a nice sea bass here. Oh, yeah. Four pounds. <laughs> there you go. Look for the front pan. Uh huh. <laughs> Not bad. This one's broken. Yeah, this looks pretty decent. Just a layup. Oh, yeah. Nice. Well, our, our bucket's getting a little full there. I would not think so. Yeah. We need another bucket or fish is overflowing the bucket. Fish overboard. Uh-oh. Mike, you want to put that other fish back in the yes, bucket? Yes, sir. We'll do that. And we'll just try to get another bucket. I made it. <laughs> guys do it? Doing all right. Hey. All right. We we'll catch some more fish. Absolutely. <laughs> Here you go, guys. They're stuck. Oh, the bucket. You see, we needed another bucket. Thanks, man. Yeah, man. Look, no this one's a little full. See? <laughs> yeah, hey, I'm Hey, can, we, can, we, can we get some with already with already fish in it? We're trolling. <laughs> We're trolling. Now uh, here's today's tip. You're supposed to wait for the boat to stop before you put your line over. You're it's all over. Pretty good tip. <laughs> yeah, you on the bottom yet, Jim? Uh, yeah, yeah. Just look out the bird's nest. I should. Yeah. Beth and her husband Kevin, excellent, excellent fisherman. We did some talk shows with them this year. And we got all kinds of people out here. Packed the boat up today, put a big announcement out there on Facebook and on the website. We got people from all over the place. Where are you from Tennessee? Oh, okay, drop Tennessee. straight down. There you go. Okay, now we're not going to troll. We're actually going fishing. Deep dropping. Deep dropping means you're in, uh, well, you're in deep water. And so we're in about 100, probably about 150 feet out of the Triangle Rex offshore, Virginia Beach. Great fishing, great day. We're sea bassing. Check our website. Look, already hooked up. Man, that was a good hit. And there he is. Boom. See? Yep, there he is. Sea bass on. I don't think this is a big one. We've had a lot of doubles today. We filled up one bucket and getting ready to fill up another one. I'm afraid this is just a small fish, very small. But he's still even still on. One thing you want to do is if you this small, feel like you have one on, you can drop your bait. Yeah, see, here you go. Okay, this is small. You can drop your bait back down to get doubles. But what will happen a lot of times, at least with me, is that fish will swim if you're on a wreck, like we are today, and he'll swim up into the wreck while you're trying to catch another fish. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's a little risky, but... You know, we have had a whole lot of doubles today. And we're going up. You got fish on? Largest fish, that's a nice one. Largest fish today is about four and a half pounds, which we caught. Hard proof. Which is a really good 
So it's not bad. What you got? Got it, your fishing on credit. Fishing on credit over here. No bay. Fishing on credit. It takes talent to fish on credit. Anybody can catch a fish with bait, you know. So I was actually uh, doing my professional um, non-bait fishing today, and uh, it wasn't as productive as I had hoped it was. Okay, here we go. Offshore, Triangle Rex. Won't take long. Look at that. Boom. Just had a hit. Okay, that's on the bottom. Right, right there. Do you see that? There it is. And we're going to send it back, and we're going to try to get a double. Now, this is a fun thing to do. Sometimes you win at this game, sometimes you lose, but it looks like we just got a double. Yeah, I think we got a double on here. Yep, I believe so. So if you hook up on the fish and then let it go back down without getting caught in the wreck, you can get doubles. There's an awful lot of structure out here at Triangle. Why? I think it's three different ships that were sunk. Okay. Here we go. Look at here. Oh, this is just a big one. Look at this hog. Look at this hog right here. Uh, he's not of my biggest of the day, but he's pretty good. Look at that quality sea bass. Just beautiful fish. Log on to JimbaOutdoors.com for some great sea bass recipes. Three pepper shrimp sauce. That's what we're going to be doing. Hey. Three pepper shrimp sauce. Oh, that's good. This is a great boat, too. Rudy Tours. Right out of Rudy. You need to get by? Yes, sir. Get on by. I don't show up on film. We're just going to get hooked up here real quick. Watch this. There he is. Hit, 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 hit. And look, look at that. Tell you what, I want to go down and get, try to get a double again. The fish is on there, I can feel it. All right, pull the reel up, see what we got this time. I don't think he's as big. Sea bass, just can't beat it. We're out here in December, a couple weeks before Christmas. Great thing to do. This year the season will close at the end of Christmas, at the end of the month. We won't have a winter season. That does change year to year. Try to get the double. Didn't get him this time. And we will rebate this time. Using squid today, fresh mullet, a little bit of everything. All right. Yeah, first shark of the day, actually. Dog First fish. one of the day. Good. You can load it up first. Pretty good, Captain. Oh. 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 <laughs> we need another bucket. Uh, that, that's good. That. Eh? <laughs> ah! 
Oh, okay, that's a beautiful flat. Are you gonna release it? I'm trying. If I go and get back to your tummy, help me help with it. If you raise eight pounds, I'll keep them because they'll be so Where'd he go? I can't keep them out much longer. And this oh, is, am I? <laughs> This one fish, this will make you expert angler, correct? Yes, expert angler. Wow. State of Virginia. We're very happy to Woo! witness that. Well, with the release. Go ahead and just release it. Whoa! Dang. There goes a Good beautiful off. flounder release. Congratulations, Beth. Woo! Virginia. And now it's time for today's tip. Cooking hot dogs and uh, rigging lines, right, Michael? Yes. Yes. Coca-Cola. Yes, and uh, ice cold Coca-Cola. Mike, what tell us a little bit about these hot dogs? Um, they're delicious. They're on board. Um, it's it's a nice thing to be able to have that in case you may have gotten hungrier than you thought or or not prepared and didn't bring enough. But they are delicious. <laughs> Nathan's hot dogs. And a little bit of the squid on there, as we found, is not bad either. I tell you, you can't avoid it. <laughs> All beef. <laughs> All, All beef. beef. All beef. All beef, no fillers. <laughs> all right, Captain, show us the rig. Hey, our famous good. bottom double rig here. There's one loop. Double third spot. And that, what's the uh, what's the sinker size on that? Uh, it's a ten ounce sinker. Ten ounce. Yes, sir. Ten ounce. Right. Very good. Very good. Way to go. Oh yeah. There you go. There you go. That's the standard double rig right there. Put some squid on it, and that's what we're using today. Now it's time for the producer's note. Boy, this is a mound of fish. We are here at the fish cleaning station here in Rudy Inlet, and we're the last uh, three buckets, guys. Did we have the biggest fish today? Yes, sir. Awesome. Hey, how do you clean that thing, buddy? This is right down the spine. Just straight down. Right out. And that's right it. Behind the head. A nice one right down the spine. Put it back over. Very simple. And then the rib cage is just one more quick cut. Piece of cake. But that's that's how you fillet them. Uh, you guys have uh, your favorite recipes you want to share? I've got a recipe we're going to be doing on the chef. Roll them in cornmeal. Roll them in cornmeal. Fry them. Now, is that cornmeal strictly just cornmeal? No flour? Just strictly cornmeal? I use just cornmeal. Just uh, cornmeal? Uh, sometimes I'll put flour in it, but most of the time I like, I like the graininess, the texture of corn. Milk. Yeah. Uh, another good way to do something pretty quick is to uh, take them, put them in a pan, put some salsa. Yeah. Bake them, and it mix really well with the uh, salsa. And then at the end, last uh, three or four minutes, sprinkle some uh, shredded cheese on them. Awesome. It's really, really good. That so, sounds good. It's a delicious fish. Barbecue. Gio, you know what? Rock and roll, buddy. I'm about out of barbecue. Ah. Dang, how about that? I gotta go get some. Be right back. Outside on the grill, ready to go, baby. Look at that. Look at that. Fresh pull, North Carolina style barbecue. All right, let me get over here. Let me get, let me get in here and we're gonna put it in the pot. Keep the crock pot going. Just like, just like South Carolina ice cream. I'm gonna make your barbecue today. Matter of fact, I'm gonna make two of them. Use uh, restaurant style buns. I keep a crock pot here. 
scooping some ice cream today, baby. Not exactly. We're scooping up full pork barbecue. Just like that right there. That's, this happens to make a good measure right there. It gives you a nice, good fat. And we got some Roanoke Red here. We're going to put a little Roanoke Red on it. All right. Put a little runic red here on this right here. With a little shot of Montville mud. Ah, the mud. 10W30 right straight out the tanks. Now, what we want to do is most people like uh, cold salt, fresh cold salt. See, that's, it doesn't get any fresher than this. And you put you some cold salt here on top, just like that right there. Okay. Just like that right there. Then, another little shot of red. You gotta squish it down real good. You don't squish it. Just squish it down. All right. Now this is the way I like to wrap them. So pull it up like this on both spots. Fold it like this. And then make a crease in it. Fold it when you're down. And you got the whole thing wrapped up just like that. Fold it. I tell you, that's, these things right here going out the door, like they got wings on. They they could be flying pigs. Oh yeah, that's what they are. Oh, they're two barbecue sandwiches from Cabin Choice Barbecue. Oh, you ought to try the Obama beans, the Bomba beans on the hot dog. They got jalapenos in them bad boys. It's got barbecue in them bad boys. And they cook all day long. I tell you, this is the most powerful medicine in Virginia right here. Uh, and what I do is just simmer them in the crock pot all day. Keep keep one, one crock pot going all the time. And, the, uh, uh, and keep some more made to back it up. So they're great on the hot dogs. It's great on hot dogs.